What's up YouTube? It's Trey Cuts. Welcome back to The Cut. Before I start though, let me tell y'all, I'm I'm having really bad allergies. So if y'all see me like sniffing a lot or something, it's my allergies. Cut me a little slack. But I'm going to do my best to push this video out for y'all, for my viewers. Because I really appreciate y'all. So I got a good one for y'all today. You ever been to the barbershop and... Your barber's using some trimmers on you that's hurting you and he know they hurting you and don't do anything about it. Or barbers, you ever been cutting somebody hair or lining them up and they just looking at you dead in your eye? Chinese, girl. I don't know about Chinese, girl. You know what yeah, so that's weird. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the do's and the don'ts, the unwritten, the unwritten laws, the rules and regulations to the barbershop. You know, there's no rules in the barbershop, but there's like unspoken things that shouldn't happen in the barbershop. And I'm going to tell everybody some things that will make your visit to the barbershop go a little bit smoother for the barber, parents, clients, anybody that's going to the shop. These are things that's going to help you have a smoother experience in the shop, make it easy for barbers. It's going to make for a better experience for everybody all around. So let's get right into it. Go, breeze. Now these rules ain't going to have any specific order, but the first rule is probably like the number one rule in any barbershop, salon, whatever. It's like the number one rule, especially for men. Don't cheat on your barber because bad things are going to happen. Young boy, what, what happened to your mid? What, what happened to your hair? What you talking about? Your head. What happened to your head? That's what I'm talking about. There is some exceptions. So let's say your barber wasn't there and he was on vacation. You needed a haircut for an, an event like a wedding, a graduation or something like that. Then you could probably go see somebody else because that's an emergency. But you're going to go at your own risk. I'm going to tell you that. Patch, patch. Don't, don't oh, they call you Patch? You want some shit, Patch? Don't cheat on your barber. I'm pretty sure y'all heard the phrase that a man would probably cheat on his wife before he'll cheat on his barber. That's so wrong, but it's probably true. But don't cheat on your barber because we're going to know. We're going to see. We know what our hands look like. I know what my shape up look like. I know what my fades look like. So when I get a client and I know went to another barber, I'll be looking like, hmm. This ain't me, but it's all good. It's all good because at the end of the day, you might be the one that get banged up. You want some shit. Don't, don't do that to me, dog. You want some shit, you hear me? You're not going to keep talking to me like that, dog. You want some shit, Patch. So I don't what, even know you, dog. So what you trying to do? My second rule, sneak charger. Barbers, don't sneak charge your clients. And what I mean by sneak charging is that don't provide a service that they didn't ask for that you know your establishment charges for. So let's say your barbershop says that if I give you a razor outline, that's going to be an extra $3 on top of the, the $20 haircut that you have. So you give them the haircut, they didn't ask for a razor, but you put it on and now their, their bill is up to $23. But they didn't ask for it. That's sneak charging. Don't do that. Prices and what the client wants should be clearly outlined at the big, before the haircut in the client consultation. Don't sneak charge your clients. That's, that's real grimy. This is a rule for the clients. Clients, don't come into the barbershop after you run. Oh, hold on. <laughs> don't jog to the barbershop for a haircut. Don't come from the gym straight to get a haircut. This is an exception. Let's say you wanted to come to the barbershop, but you had to walk a little bit from your car to get to the barbershop, and it's hot outside. And you come in the barbershop, and you're a little sweaty, and you next up in the chair. 
I can make an exception for that. I can work with that. I can work with that. I'll cool you down, do what I gotta do to make your skin dry enough so that I can cut it and you can get a sharp line. But if you blatantly come in the barbershop after you've been jogging or running or, or whatever you whatever physical activity you did, it's going to make for a harder haircut for your barber. Your barber is going to have to work that much harder to give you a nice line. Don't do that to your barber. Now, barbers, this is another rule that some of y'all may not agree with. I don't care because this is my YouTube channel, so I can say whatever I want. But to me, it's very unprofessional when you're using headphones while you're servicing a client. To me, if you feel like the client don't want to talk, that, to me that doesn't mean you should throw some headphones in and listen to some music. You should always leave the option open. Plus for me, I like to be aware of my surroundings no matter where I'm at. But I'm not going to put some headphones in my ears while I'm servicing somebody. I just feel like that's unprofessional. I don't feel like you should be doing I don't feel like you should be using the phone taking phone calls either. But there's an exception to that too. Now, we're barbers, all we do is work we're in the barbershop. We're going to have people in our chair all day. So sometimes you might get a phone call, but that don't mean sit on the phone and have a full conversation. Let them know you at work, let them say what they gotta say, and hang up the phone. Don't waste all don't sit up there with the client having a full conversation about your yeah, baby mama, baby daddy, my cousin did this, my sister in law's baby cousin Tracy and all that other stuff. Nobody got time for that. Don't do that. Clients, same thing for you. And this is really annoying for barbers. Clients, don't sit in a chair with your cell phone and your head down the whole time. It's annoying. Lift your head up. I'm trying to do certain things. And if you're looking down the whole time, I can't do what I need to do to give you a good haircut. It's super annoying. But there's exceptions to that too. Kids, I don't mind a kid on the tablet or on the cell phone looking down. It keeps them still. It keeps them their attention away from looking around. So I can give an exception for kids, but for grown people, I don't like that. Clients, don't ask for a service, an additional service, after you're pretty much already done your haircut. If I done spent all this time cutting your hair, fading you up and all that, and then I'm done, I done pulled the next strip off you, alcohol you up and all that, now you like, um, uh, can you can you line my beard up? That should have told you should have told me that in the client consultation, man, so that I could have kept in the flow because I got other people waiting. Now you want an additional service, so now I got to take the time to retake, re up, uh, put the next strip back on you, put the cape back on you, and start basically start all over. Don't do that. Outline at the beginning what services you want done so the barber can flow through the haircut. Parents, if you got a bad child, you know that child don't like going to the barber shop. Don't bring them to the barbershop when they're not happy. If they're not comfortable with going, just give them some time to get comfortable at the barbershop. Don't go to the barbershop and force them to sit in the chair because it's going to make the barber have to work harder. This is going to, it's just going to make for an uncomfortable situation for you because the child is going to be embarrassing for you. If, if they're uncomfortable at the barbershop, give them home haircuts. That's my remedy. they uncomfortable at the barbershop, cut their hair at home. When they're ready to start getting good haircuts, then they can go to the barbershop. Tip your barber. Now, this that's probably controversial for some people because what if you don't have a tip? Everybody can't tip, blah, 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 blah. But nine times out of ten, you go into the barbershop, you know you're going to the barbershop. So why not tip your barber? And I promise you, if you tip your barber all the time and you tip your barber well, he going to do what he got to do to give you that little... A little extra oomph in the haircut, so why not tip your barber? It's gonna make it's only gonna make your haircut better, and it's gonna be better for the barber. He's gonna like seeing you as a client. Barbers, don't rush through your client haircut if you got somebody waiting. Don't do that. It's, it's rude. Customers can feel when you rushing through their haircuts. Don't do it. Take your time. Give everybody the same respect. Don't rush for one client and don't rush for the other client. Don't do that. It's, it's just gonna make for a messy haircut. Clients, don't rush your barber if you if you if it's your time to go get a haircut. Don't rush your barber to finish someone else's hair. It's rude, it's inconsiderate. Because how would you feel if you were in the chair and somebody was telling you to hurry up, man? Come on, you done yet? You done yet? Don't don't do that. It just makes for an uncomfortable situation. Another rule that I have: if you a client, don't be a mirror looker. I hate the mirror lookers. They the ones that's getting their haircut. They don't really know a barber, so every five seconds they they doing this. 
don't do that. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's, it's very annoying to your barber. Your haircut is going to be fine. Most haircuts are going to look worse before they look better. Just give the barber time and let them work. Don't be a mirror looker. It's very, very, very annoying. So, these were just some of the rules that I think that you should follow. Some of the unwritten rules to the barbershop or unwritten laws and guidelines and stuff like that to the barbershop that I think will make your, your visit to the barbershop go a lot smoother and make things a lot more comfortable for the barber. If y'all have any questions or grumps or complaints about some of the rules that I said, hit me in the comment section below. If you like my videos, like I always say, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. But you gotta tell me why you gave me a thumbs down because I gotta know what I have to do to get better on this YouTube channel. So, like I always say, if you want to see some of my pictures of haircuts and other things, follow me on Instagram at Trey Cuts with a Z and underscore at the end. Like, subscribe, comment. See you guys later. Peace.